Well, this was a nightmare. This is the fuel strainer that I put in the Red 124's donor fuel tank. It's actually the small version that was used on the very early 124's and presumably earlier 201's and 126's. Unfortunately, it's not correct for the hose set that I have on this car. Now, I'm not going to remove this tank again, and I do not have a socket that will fit it. So unfortunately, things got desperate, and I ended up using vice grips on the round section to get it to remove. Nothing else I tried would get it to budge. Unfortunately, I did scratch the underside of the tank there, but that is protected from the elements, so it should be fine. You can see the damage that I've caused to that poor strainer. So, unfortunately, it's no good to anyone now. I didn't want to make that mistake again, so I test fitted my hose to the uh, new strainer that I purchased today. And of course, that is the correct part number, and it fit perfectly. Since I now have the correct hose to install it, I can just install the screen finger tight and then rely on the actual uh, tightening of the hose itself to tighten the filter in too. Every time I've changed these filters in the past, just loosening the hose brought the filter out with it. So I haven't had to buy a socket that large to date and I didn't really want to spend $50 on a new socket to save a $30 filter, so unfortunately it got sacrificed. So the hose is installed. This is not a factory molded hose. It's one that I've had recrimped in Australia, so it works, but it's not the uh, exact hose. MB uses metric hoses and uh, for some reason, Australia only has imperial hoses, even though we're a metric country. Here you can see closely the damage that I've caused to this uh, incorrect filter that I removed. Uh, perhaps the screen can be salvaged if I uncrimp it, but I'll just hold on to it anyway, just in case I need it in future for something. I might be able to save it. I would have liked to have given it away to somebody that actually needed it, but since it's damaged, I'm not going to bother. So these are the uh, vice grips that I used to remove that. I just, as you saw, gripped onto the round section. I did try the uh, lockjaw pliers, but I didn't have the strength to actually get that to move. And of course, something like this, it just does not fit in there, as much as I tried.